All right, so last night we put a layer of mud on these walls. I just finished putting a little bit more around this foam curve here just to try to get rid of some of those lines that I cut. I think it's going to be okay if you see a little bit of it because it'll look like wooden, like carved little knots and stuff. So that'll work out pretty nice. And then the next thing I've done is I started framing the back wall. I'm going to be building a wall that matches the front section right here. And that's going to support the beam going across here that I'm going to start attaching roof paneling to. So, unfortunately, I didn't want to have to do it, but I couldn't think of a better way that would be stable and strong other than just building half of the wall here. So basically, think of this thing as like half a shed. You guys see this? This is the beam that holds the house together. <laughs> Just kidding. This is our roof beam, and this puppy was scary putting up there. I was like, oh, Chris, be careful, because we and got it was on. Dark. Yeah, and it was dark. It was like 8 o'clock at night, and we just like inched it up there on one side, inched it up on the other side. So, if you guys remember, on the haunted house, we had platforms that we attached and made a second story out of and that was really nice so we're going to do the same thing and I'm gonna take you right over there that's a mighty big gun you got there Chris a little faster than a screw gun mm hmm I made this deck exactly the width of the ladder plus two inches <laughs> that'll be fun to put on uh-huh nice We'll clamp it or something. Anything you want to tell the fine folks at home? Well, they've seen us make decks before, so normally we put glue on here, but when you're two or three days from Halloween, you, you, start, you start skipping steps. Hey, this looks like something I could build. Oh, yeah. It's very straight. <laughs> <laughs> See, you got the cut there, the cut there, and then down. Now, normally I'll usually put three quarter inch plywood on here to make it more sturdy, but I just put lots of supports in here. We actually had this scrap piece of half inch. So I think it's gonna work out nicely. Now, are you gonna screw that in, or yeah, are you I'll, gonna? Yeah, I'll screw this one on. That way we can reuse it or something. Yeah, or, you know, we won't do that, but. <laughs> It's a thought that counts. I may just shoot it on. <laughs> I'm sure you will. <laughs> this part has been fun. <laughs> okay, so I got all these little pieces of wood up. Um, they've got my angle that, uh, that goes on the front piece here. The back one is actually slightly different, which you can't really tell, but I made all of them all the same and then just changed the levels. I've got to go up to the top, cut them all off, matching the uh, beam that we made yesterday. And then down here, I just uh, cut. cut the chalk line yeah. across from the edge, and then we'll just cut them all yep. off. So imagine these with two feet off of them. Yes, something. and that's what I'm going to be doing next. So I'm running out of light. But after I get those done, cut on the top and bottom, then I'm going to start adding all the little four-foot pieces. And, <laughs> Many little pieces of wood to pieces. to snap the uh, fake shingles shingles onto. <laughs> thank you, thank you. My brain's kind of fried. I'm here to finish your sentences. Yes, but you can see the ones that are doubled up. That's where it's going to be a break. Uh, there's going to be four sections, and this is about what would we figure out? It's like 12 foot span, mm -hmm. right? About so, and then we got our little platform done, which actually really has been nice. Yeah, and safe. Yeah, you can get up there and dance and no, do whatever. No dancing. So what's going on over here, Gina? All right. Ooh. Yeah, I've been wood graining everything, and I'm gonna go and sponge. Just I just have a couple more spots to wood grain, and then I'm gonna sponge to match the top. It looks so good. It does look so good. Let's check out this corbel. <laughs> oh. Wait, I did that backwards. Ooh, ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so it's so cool. Up there. 
We were gonna put a little piece of plexiglass in there. We will. We will. We will. Yeah, so instead of putting the little cross piece inside the flat because it has a break there, we're just gonna attach the cross piece to a piece of plexiglass. Mm -hmm. And then when the plexiglass is in place, it'll look like the cross piece is there. Yeah. And then we have some shutters. Yeah. That aren't there. That we might <laughs> not do because we want to. Imagine shutters. Ooh, nice. And more plexiglass. Bonjour. <laughs> oh, man. We still have to finish the flower boxes, too. We've got a lot of things to do. Oh, my gosh, you guys. And then there's no door. <laughs> you just drape the curtain. Here, let me come around there. Cottage. We still need to buy some furniture and install some plumbing and electrical, but it's coming along. Yep. <laughs> yep. Well, I'm gonna stop filming and get back to work. Yeah. We get. We can't be taking these breaks. But I like to film. I like to talk to our buddies. Ooh, the sun's kind of shining oh, in their sorry. face. <laughs> Paintbrush. <laughs>